We're live. Hearing a lot of birds. Hey, it's Steve and George. We're out at Meadock Mountain State Park doing a hike. It's a Monday morning. I guess, still morning, I guess. What is it, like 10 o'clock? <laughs> and uh, we just did a tree knock. You can hear there's a lot of birds and bugs, so I sincerely doubt there's anything in the area right now. But we're just going to hike through, see what we get. We haven't been down here in a little while, so we're trying to make up some lost time. Come along with us. Let's see what we find. world's most uneven stairs. It's easy to walk on the side of the trail. We brought our uh, AGM thermals along today. George has got pretty much all his gear. I just brought a little bit. And I'm uh, shooting off the iPhone today. I just opted not to. I have the equipment with me. I didn't want to bring a pro camera and a big heavy tripod and stuff. So won't be a lot of fancy editing here. It's just going to be raw footage and I'll upload it later. You know, webs on that garbage can. Yeah, I want to show you something. Johnny, a little over a year ago, had a recorder out here, and he heard a bang in the middle of the night, like one, two o'clock. Come around here and take a look at this. Oh wow, look at that. We figured that's what it was because it had a metallic sound to it when it hit it. That's a hand. That's a big hand too. Yep. Is that where that fingerprint kit would have been handy? We would have yeah, had it that day, yeah. you know? Really, yeah. I was thinking about that the other day. Who knows? Stream's pretty low. Want to try another knock? I thought I'd seen movement over there for a minute. It's just a reflection of the water off that tree. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
bird singing. Yeah, it's noisy today. I'm gonna drop this tripod down. I got a bug in my ear. <laughs> They're starting. I'm sure they're out there. Maybe it's just early. Since I brought the hat, they love to bite my bald head. <laughs> Canopy is thick. Okay, it's real thick. As you can see, George and I have matching shirts on today. We got the memo. Got the memo. Although these are good for ticks and stuff. Yeah. mention about uh, our Bigfoot 101. Oh yeah, we should talk about that. Let me move the camera in closer. A little conversation. All right, something that we've been talking about doing for a while now. We have the uh, new room in the museum, which we can do, you know, for book authors, keynote speakers. Some people have actually already used it, rented it out. I'm, I'm still working on it, but it, it's usable. I just want to get another coat of paint on the floor and things like that and get my kitchenette area out of there. Put that in the back room. But uh, so we were talking about our first official thing for us to do would be kind of a Bigfoot 101. Yeah. Talk about equipment. Yeah. Uh, you had a good idea. You heard someone talking about you know, do's and don'ts for bear spray. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think that'd be a really good one. And uh, if I have to, I'll get some bear spray in. So if people want to actually buy it after they hear about it, we can yeah. have them in the museum. But uh, That'll take care of all your uh, invasive creatures. From yeah. People that might want to attack you on a trail. To... I mean, a lot of people just don't carry guns. Yeah. I mean, so it's yeah. just, you know, like, I got nothing today. I'm wearing nothing. Yeah. I got my bear spray. I don't even, have, you know, I don't have bear spray. I don't have, you know, I don't have a knife. I literally have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I got a wallet. I can bribe them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we'll talk about the uh, pros and cons of the uh, flare. Uh, I mean, the AGMs over the flares and we'll talk about different equipment. Yeah. Yeah. How we use it out there. Yep, uh, like, your body cams, that's, enough, that's, that's yeah. the direction I'm going to go in eventually. I, mean, I don't even have my rig today, it's actually in the other vehicle. Mm -hmm. So Actually, I've got a backup, I should just put one in each. You know? Yeah. I never even took the other one out. And then maybe afterwards, uh, if they're interested, uh, come out to the woods. Yeah. For you know, an additional fee for us to take them yeah, out. make like a suggested donation for the museum or something right. like yeah. that. You know, yeah, yeah, sure. Pay, help us pay some bills. 
uh, not to get into the financial end, but they've, uh, things have gotten better. Uh, things have picked up a little bit uh, ever since Memorial Day, but it's still not, still nowhere near what it used to be. I mean, it's still sluggish. Yeah. I mean, yesterday was Sunday, and it wasn't bad. I, 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 I took a count. I don't remember off the top of my head what it was. But the best day we've had now was a day where I counted 76 people through, and I'm sure I missed them because it was busy. So even if you go up to the, uh, you say another 10, so you say 80, 86 or something like that. That's not a bad day, but back before COVID, even at the, you know, back at the house on right. weekends, so we used to do 100, 150 people a day. It was not unusual. Yeah, people lined up out the door. It was crazy, and they were packed like sardines. Now we got plenty of room. Yeah. So we're getting there. We're getting there. It's just, <laughs> so, yeah, but we want to take advantage of the museum, of the fact that we have the space back there. I mean, at least I have the studio now. Uh, I'm, I've ordered a bunch of different merchandise in from different vendors, you know, from inflatable aliens to I'm trying to order shirts in so I'm not making my own. I'm trying to be more efficient, mm -hmm. and especially now that right. I'm pretty much running the place by myself. And yeah, yeah. It's been kind of rough. But yeah, that, uh, that big footing thing, uh, 101, that would be great for people that never been out yep. there before, have an interest, learn the you know, areas that we always go to, uh, let them know areas where we always seem to get activity, things of that nature. You know, we, we for the most part, we're at Medoc Mountain, but uh, we do go outside of that. Yep. And just, you know, a lot of things people don't know, common sense. So we've taken people out uh, who have never camped before, never hiked before, yeah. really. I mean, they've never been out in the real wildness. Uh, when we had the day of the festival, after uh, Johnny had his sighting, which was just on the outskirts south of the uh, park here, the creature was actually crossed in front of him into the park. Uh, it was uh, raining the day yeah. of the festival and yeah. before and stuff. And we actually end up uh, coming to the park with Texas Ted from MetaZoo. And he's never been out doing that, never had a thermal camera in his hands before. And we found prints actually on this trail. Right, yep. It was on this yep. trail. Yep, and nice print too. And we actually turned around because the trails are so wet. There was so much water still running off. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's most like of lake. Yeah, I, didn't, I wasn't wearing my hiking shoes. I, I don't believe I was. Anyway, I know my feet were getting wet, and Ted was wearing loafers, you know? Yeah. He had to get on a flight back to New York the next day. Yeah. So uh, we were turning around. That's when I, I guess it was Eagle Eye, right? Yeah. He, he found the yeah, first one. got it. And then we found some others going across the way. And since I'm not going to edit this, I can't throw them in, but uh, I'll do it in another video. But they, I have posted them before. Yeah. But. Yeah, just give people an idea. If you got an interest, you know, we'll yeah. get for an hour, hour and a half or whatever, we'll go through everything, let them know. Yeah. And we'll even talk about things that we found out here. You yep. know? We could even do a casting demonstration on another yeah. one. You know, yeah. you know, one will just start off with a basic just do's and don'ts and common sense things. And I mean, things like don't, you really shouldn't go out off trail by yourself. No. Uh, it's yeah, it's just dangerous. I mean, twisting your ankle, get tagged by a snake. There's a lot of toxic snakes here. We're not even wearing a proper foot gear today, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but we're staying on trail today. Yeah, that's where we're looking ahead of us. And uh, but there's a lot of just basic things people don't realize. Yep. I mean, and uh, bug spray. Yeah, you need bug spray. <laughs> and if, if you got a balding head like me, I mean, wear a hat because they love to go after the top of your yeah, head. That and the ticks. Oh, you know, the ticks are bad. You guys know my tick story, so. Yeah. Messed me up for over a year. And from what I understand, it's going to be really bad this year for ticks. Yeah, this thing is already bad. Yeah, I People are coming it. down with dozens of them already, you know? Well, I had one in January. It's January. I couldn't believe it. It was burrowed in on me. But, yeah. Yeah, I've been using that Ranger stuff. I didn't use it today because I just I just used whatever I had in the vehicle. But when I come out and we're camping here and spending time, the Ranger just seems to work well. It lasts quite a while. And did you spray yourself down today? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm going to come out here. I, I, I may not do it like in December and January, but uh, now that I got one tick on me in January, I'm still going to hit myself up just because. I mean, they're they're here year round. I mean, from what I understand, they they will still be active in uh, 20 degree temperatures. So. Yeah. Well, it never really freezes here. No, no. It never really dies off. I mean, and this past winter, it was very mild. Yeah. Man, we had 70 degree temperatures quite often. Hopefully, we have a mild summer, not too hot. Yeah. I'm hoping Speaking yeah. of which, I gotta get that air conditioner in. <laughs> Another project for the week. Yeah, yeah. Got so much to do. But one of the things too, like just you know, we can be kind of calm and more relaxed now. With all these birds and bugs, the odds of something being around is kind of slim. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't mean you know they could something could be laying down over here and right. the animals aren't aware of it. But generally, when we get when we come out here and all of a sudden things go quiet, that's when we get hair in the back of our neck goes yes. up and we're yeah. we're on alert. 
podcast. And uh, even though we were talking about coming down today, we you know, pretty much discussed it yesterday. And mm -hmm. uh, we, we didn't get down and bait or anything. We're just literally just cold walking in. Yeah. Sounding kind of tropical now. Yeah. Yeah. But there were bears here, wild pigs, large cats. Yep. You know, snakes, spiders, all kinds of stuff. So you need to be aware. Lots of spiders. Yeah. Even on trails, you're going to oh, be knocking them down. And we're taking the girls out. We're telling them, see those little green dots there? Those are spider eyes. They wouldn't believe us. Yeah. They thought we were just trying to freak them out. So, no, no, those are spider eyes. <laughs> <laughs> They're all watching us. They are. There's hundreds of thousands of them in here. And you walk down a trail, knock down the webs. And I mean, it's now summertime, you're going to get those big orb spiders, these massive webs across the trail. And uh, you go down, you know, 45 minutes, an hour later, be coming back. Web's built again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, yeah. They're amazing how productive they can be, you know. I'm hearing movement there. I'm just trying to see what it yeah, is. Yeah, I've been hearing a little something over there. I don't know if it's a deer or a fat squirrel. Or... This area here has been usually typically good for us. Yeah. But especially uh, late in the evening. And it's not too far in, too, which is nice. Yeah. yeah. And you got a bench. Yep. It's good Sitting for the back. old farts. Yep. But I don't see any prints over there. No. A lot of times we'll see prints right around the riverbanks. Yeah, it's really thick, as you can see yeah, behind us. I'll spin the camera to show you guys, but this is why we really like coming out off season. You can actually see, but you can see you can't see very far. When you get off trail, you're gonna disappear real quick. Put my glasses. I can see I lost it. Somebody must have tried to call me. Night. Day. Day, night. Blue and good night, too. <laughs> That's right. I didn't know what day it was for like four days. I, I still don't know what day I it was. I was a whole day off. I was on the road for a few days and had John watching the museum. And uh, I purposely came back thinking it was next day was Friday. It was Thursday. And I not carried on. And I'm, I'm driving through town. I told you I'm driving through town on Saturday. I'm driving th thinking it's Sunday. I go, why is the hardware store open? They're open on Sundays now? And what the heck? Is, you know, the coffee shop's open? And I literally look at my phone. It's like, wiped out. So today is Monday. I'm finally up to speed. Yeah, I'm retired, so every day is a, the same day to me. And it, it does get tough to track down what days are what. Yeah, every day to me is just museum, museum, yeah. museum. <laughs> it's, it's the same thing. It's Groundhog Day. <laughs> um. So I'm going to do some research and looking to going up into the uh, Williamsburg area. Oh, yeah, 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 some, you were uh, telling me about A couple that. of uh, young folks came in and were telling me about some great places there and stuff. So I said, do me a favor, send me the information. And if you can get me the information and I can get access to it, I said, you're welcome to come along with us, you know. And uh, yeah, so I'll see cool. if I can get some spots there. And then they're from that area, so they'll, you know, be able to tell me, you know, good and bad, mm -hmm. you know, maybe. You, know, you usually go to an area you're not familiar, just winging it. Right. So if I can find some places, maybe I can call ahead and see where I can you know, be allowed in so I don't have to worry about dealing with trespassing. <laughs> you know, right. Pissing somebody off. It's actually pretty cold today, too. Yeah. I think when I pulled up, it was showing 64. Good night, good night too. Yeah. So if I can get uh, Jimmy to spend the night out here, I'll be out here tonight. We'll hit the other side of the bluff where you had your sighting yep. over there. I think that's a good spot to. And I think that's a hotbed. I really I do. do I, mean, I think that's where they're coming in at over there in that area. I think we need to hit that area more and just you know, yeah. just you know, hunker down and just be there. Yep. I mean, get yep. those campsites during the week, bait yep. the hell out of them. I mean, because yep. it's right there. I mean, they'll smell that if we can do it like two or three days in a row. And, yep. and I would put stuff like from the trail all the way in behind the campsite, throw in from yep. both sides. Absolutely, yeah. Just pepper that area and see what we get, you know? Yeah. And who knows? You might get a hungry ghost. Yeah. 
Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did catch a paranormal. Uh, that was crazy. Thing over there. That right? was what? About, I guess about three years ago now. Yeah, a couple, few years. Yeah. Yeah, and we were actually re getting ready to go bigfooting, <laughs> and we weren't, weren't looking for paranormal. One of the guys heard something. He actually, and he runs. He literally jumped up and ran into the woods. I was like, well, "What are you doing? You know, do you hear that?" And I did hear movement. Of course, we're all thinking bigfoot. You know. And uh, so he goes down there and he's going, it's over there. And I could hear it. And I had the thermal camera like now. It was, you know, I had to add it on, thank God, or turned it on at that point. And uh, behind his large tree, I could see heat. And then this thing just steps out from behind the tree and it looked like a Confederate soldier. Yep. It was, Absolutely. It was crazy. Absolutely. Yep. Sure that, was, that was a wild one. Best thing we expected. We've sent more people over to those campsites. Yeah, now we can't get them. I know. <laughs> We're screwing ourselves. You know? We keep our mouths shut. That's why I'm not even saying which ones they are. Man. We've done enough damage to ourselves. Well, I think we got another good one, those two over there. Yeah. Up up the way. I think those will be good. They're close to the trail. I wish we were allowed to do some off-trail camping. Yeah. They did some, like, you know, even they set up designated areas. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, like down in here would be perfect, not too far yeah. in, you know. Well, that's what Yori does, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. I've, I've never been there. I know uh, they have a name for it. I can't think what it is. It's just you're literally going down a road and you just see a place where you can park a car and that's it. No fire pits, nothing. It's, it's real basic. Well, last time I went up to uh, Brown Mountain too. They have it up in that park. Really? And I didn't realize you just go there for free. Hmm. You just I think you can't stay any more than two weeks or something like that. Right. But I was you know next time I go up there, say so get a motel and just you know. Of course, there's no here. There's facilities to shower. I don't know if they have that there. I don't believe so. They might. And uh, but if you can rough it and just you know do your bird bath thing, that'd be a fun one to do. Because then there you got the Bigfoot activity. You got the you got spook lights, UF, UFO, yeah, UFO stuff. Going. And you can kind of cover a lot of stuff in a short period. And just you know yeah. then set up equipment once the people kind of leave at night. I mean, if you can. Put Keep an eye on your equipment, put things up, you can pretty much cover it 24-7. Uh, yeah, yeah. Load up trail cameras, even though we never have luck with them. Yeah, but they'd probably be good for the lights and things yeah, like that. You absolutely, know? Yeah. You know, Just to see what the wildlife is. You, know, you realize you got yeah. a bobcat wandering past your tent at night. Yeah, you know? or a bear. Yeah. Check it out, you're cooler. Yeah, the uh, trail cams we've had. Very few people have any luck with trail cams. I think they're just too large, too much plastic. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a hum from the electronics they pick up. I think they just smell the plastic. I, I definitely think they can see IR light. Yeah, I do too. I mean, we just assume that you know <coughs> everything sees what we say. You know. Well, that, the weirdest thing was I, I put those two out in January. Came back in February. I put apples on trees and stuff. I pretty much nailed them in, and following day i got a squirrel coming down a tree and the apples are gone yeah that's and crazy I, and i don't know what what happened i mean i put 10 of them on the ground right in front of the camera they're all gone nothing picked up yeah i was just listening to a podcast i guess it was yesterday and somebody was talking about another very similar incident where he had all these apples up and it's like this frame apples this frame apples this frame no apples yeah and it's like you know it was like a five minute difference between these shots. It's like, where'd the apples go? Yeah. You know, he says there was a bunch of them. It wasn't like someone could have grabbed them and quick took them right. off. Yeah. You'd have to stop and pick them all up. And... Well, like I said, I put two apples. There was a, a branch that was Everything broken. Everything just went quiet. Sure did. We just lost all noise right in this area. Now we're hearing like, like a hound dog in the distance. Yeah. Dead silence. There's a few birds in the distance, but our area just went quiet. <whistles> move the camera back.
all those birds and stuff you're hearing way off. Yeah. Oh, what was that? It's like something was thrown, didn't it? Yeah. Back over here. Something was falling from it. Seen something hot back in there. I can't tell if it's just heat from the tree. Yeah, the sun or but it's upright. Take a picture. There's some kids up there that's playing with it. With that noise you hear, we can actually hear kids all the way down at the yeah. playground. That's showing you how quiet this area is here. With the loud kids. <laughs> well, it does. It, it goes dead silent. It's almost like something came in and shut them down. The kids might have tracked something in. Another area I'd like to check out is where that log was thrown. I'd like to get some cameras out there too. Yeah. This this fall, late fall. They're known to be very curious. So if you have like, they seem to be attracted to children and women's voices, what we've been told, and that seems to what happens. So possibly with people making noises there, you might get something moving past us to go see what's going on that way, so. Well, we had all those women out. We had real good activity that night from the podcast. You get tree knocks, tree breaks. Communication with growls and whoops. Still quiet here. It is. We're getting some birds back up in this area, but this whole area is going dead. <whistles> try to try the high pitch whistle. yourself in the night for walking on this <laughs> stuff. Will. They say that area where you picked up that one big foot over there by the bluff, that, that, that's just as bad as anywhere else in here, and that thing was running through it like it was nothing. Yeah, it was crazy. It had, it was no headlamp. I mean, it was, you know, evenly lit, so I had no clothes on, and this thing was just cruising with no problem on a moonless night. I mean, I, when I went lights out there, I mean, I'm just moving it's a little fine. bit, trying to keep up with it and take pictures, and I'm tripping over roots and yeah, everything. Yeah. And, Crazy. That's why I was like, I, I, I'd be surprised if it didn't realize it was there because I was trying to be quiet, but it was it was hard to. Well, I'm going to wrap up this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. We're coming up on uh, almost 30 minutes on this one already. Wow. Wow. So okay. I'll, I'll probably shoot another one. I'm not even sure how well charged my phone is. Well, f thanks, f f thanks for watching, <laughs> and uh, we'll get back to you. On the way out, I'm going to look for any kind of prints. We'll see if we get anything, because we definitely went quiet, so we're on alert now. We'll talk to you in a little bit.